What is up guys and girls, so in this video I'm going to show you the locations to all the crew members and volunteers in the power plant as well as the life support. Now a couple of mentions as usual, be careful of recycle grenades, they will remove the corpses from the game completely and they will be gone for good. And secondly, the turrets. I tend to destroy turrets when I come across them because they do have the ability to destroy phantoms when you are not in the area, giving you no indication that they were there, except for a little bit of remains. And it will be way more difficult to find remains than it would be to find the phantom itself. So I've since gotten this trophy. I hadn't gotten it before recording, I think, the previous video. But I do have them all now, and it's just a matter of time before I put them all up. So without further ado, let's get on with it. All right, power plant. Now there are 11 official corpses to find here, and I think I found 12 or 13. Umi, the last one, was in a different area, but I think I got 12 in the end because of this one here. Brenda, she is not on any list that I could find. Next up, we have Lan. Then be careful of the electricity coming into this room. On the stairs over here, you're gonna find Miguel, Mr. Lopez, and now we're gonna hop skip over this little electric lake. And we are going to find Duncan Krasikov. Okay, let's go find who is next? Anthony. Nope, it's not. It's Matthew Connolly. So he is going to be on the ground floor, but let me show you how to get there quick without being noticed, although there is a shitload of mimics in this room. But you can use your recycle grenades because he's only outside this door over here. Here he is. Now Talia, let's give you a map location here. Talia, you need to open this big round door in front of you to access the further area. And she's going to be on the left hand side here. Burning, I was going to say alive, but burning dead. Over here. Well hidden actually. Okay, now I'm going to go to Michaelia. Michaelia. And she is going to be the woman who is injured. And she's going to be sitting against the wall right over here. System alert. Okay, next up Please we have Anthony. A qualified engineer. And he fell through the door. Every time I open this door, he gives me a fright. It's awesome. Okay, thanks, Anthony. Now we're going to go to Ian. Now this one was most definitely the most well-hidden body or corpse in the game, aside from maybe Josh Dalton, because of how confusing the guts can be. But we're on B3 over there. And this SOB is way up here. And I don't think I would have found it without the crew locator, to be honest. But you can make your way up any way you can. And he's going to be sitting way up here. So I'm assuming he fell maybe from the top of the lifts. Who knows? Well, there he is. Staring straight at me. Okay, Ian, thanks for that. Now we're going to find Jean Fury. Fury? Fury. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. A lot of these names are pretty weird, but I want to show you where it is anyway. So come into this room. And if you head over to the right, you can see an, an access point there. And this door is locked. You can't open it yet. So I'm just going to take you the quick route there because there are two bodies in this shaft. So now I think when you get to this point, these stairs are not going to be destroyed. It does not matter. You can still make your way across, just a little bit easier. Okay, on track. Let's go get this. Okay, now this one will be open, or you can open it. What you want to do, let me just show the map quick sticks here. B3. Now what you want to do is make yourself a little uh, staircase up to the right or the left, whatever tickles your fancy. Then be cautious because there is a phantom waiting for you right at the top. But because you don't need to see that shit, I just edited it out. Or oh, I restarted recording after coming here. Okay, so here is this dude. This dudette. Thanks, Gene. Okay, so now we're going to get out and we're going to drop down the elevator shaft. We're going to find Mr. Stillwater. Just drop all the way down. I think I ended up breaking my legs anyway. No. There's Nicholas and we have one more. Right.
right over here. Another little map check. And that's Guy Crawl. And here's the last one in the power plant. Alright, we're going to head over to life support now, guys. Alright, here we are. Now, worth mention, a Miss Umi Isaka is on a list on both power plant and life support. But I only found her in life support. So I'm not sure if there's two people with identical names or there was some little mix up there. But there are 22 total in life support and I've got them all here for you. Okay, Alan is first. Or Alton at least, sorry. He's in the toilets here. In the maintenance tunnel of said toilets. We're going to find Tobias. Okay, so then we're going to head out. And we're going to grab Erica Teague, Carol Sykes, Augusto Vera and... Ari Ludnort, I think it is. Crazy name. But there are four in the small little area here. And remember, you need, to act, you need to activate them and actually take something off them for it to count. Just staring at them. I'm not sure if it counts, but it's not going to hurt just to do a little extra. Okay, so I'm going to make a little cut here and show you how to get the downloadable map for this area. What I've done here is stacked up two little boxes which can be found just outside the toilets and put one down then stand on top of the other one and drop it otherwise it won't fall on top of the other one and then you're at a good height to get the download map but of course you have to shoot the utility side of the monitor first and then download map but that takes up half the screen so it'll be easier than shooting that one okay so back from Ari we're gonna head down the stairs We're going to find Penny, right here, and then Max Weagle Goats, we're going to find on the left of the lifts. If you walk up to this banister, just push X once, you should just jump up, he or she, and here he is right there. Alright, Mr. Kirk Remmer, now this is one that I've been told has difficulty spawning or sometimes doesn't spawn for people. I know quite a few of them didn't spawn for me on my initial playthrough, which is why I had to record this over a couple of them. But head into the escape pod area. And you're gonna get five people here, including Kirk as the Phantom. Mr. Remo. Okay, from Remmer over here, you need to repair the pod on the right-hand side. To your right, right now. Yeah, so you need to repair that over there, and then this will open, or you can open it. And you're going to find Angela right there. And this is where I found Umi Isaka. Not in power plant, but right here. Now we're going to find Anong Lo. Emily Carter. Okay, so there are six in this escape pod bay, including Remmer. And then we're going to find Hank Majors. Okay, so now we're going to do a little cut and we're going to exit the escape pod area. We're going to find Raya right here. Now to get into the water treatment on the left over here, you have to climb up on the pipes above me and I've actually got a video on that, I'll put it in the description. And once you're in there, you're going to find a couple of peeps in here as well. Cynthia is first. Then Roger Mayer is right over here. Pablo is on the other side of this room on the back stairwell. So just head through the door at the end over there. And on the stairwell, you're gonna locate him right here. Then Johnny is just in this room. Smash the window, jump across. And he is lying down right over here. 
Kane is the next one who had an unfortunate death. I suppose is not as unfortunate as everyone else in this station, but he got crushed. There is Kane. Kane wasn't able. Okay, so now we're going to head down to the eel tank, and you have to open this eel tank area with the computer in the room just above me to the right. Easy enough. Come down here, access the harvest button, and it closes. You're going to find Price right down here, Mr. Broadway. Okay, we have one more in life support. Are we going to head back to the beginning of the level? Didn't think you needed to see me run all the way back. Pretty straightforward. At the start. And as a habit, I do the map check. Probably wasn't needed. We're going to find Alan. 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 No, that's Steve. Steve. Fuck, that video is funny. Okay, Alan Bianchi is going to be at the back of this room on the walkway. And that's going to bring us to the end of this part of the series guys and girls so i really hope you found the video informative and you're able to locate all these sneaky little crew members and i've got lots more guides on the way including kill all humans kill no humans and some general tips as well so i want to say thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time